it's Lenny Gear from Lens Crafty Life and this is my entry uh, for the 1400 sub challenge from Daniela from Pink Zebra. Now I know she loves Paris so one of the things that you could make for her, there were several things you could make but this is one of the things that she uh, asked you to make and it is a pocket letter and this is actually my first pocket letter ever, yay! I like making new things so um, this is all about Paris, well almost all about Paris so let me just show you, I hope I'm not having too much glare, I'll just tilt the camera down a little bit it's easier for myself to see if I'm in focus or not. So there you go. So here we start. Like the background paper is one piece of paper which I cut down into the, you know, the proper sizes. And actually I watched a few videos since I hadn't uh, made this before yet. I watch a few videos and I don't know of, of whom anymore, but one of those ladies said actually the size of playing cards is the right size to go in this. And of course, I had picked up some playing cards already a long time ago to alter. So I used, some, I used nine of the playing cards. I stuck this uh, pretty paper on and then on the back, I'll show you that as well. I stuck this on. This is actually one sheet of tissue paper, but it is also Paris themed. Like here you can see the Eiffel Tower. Here's the Notre Dame and another Eiffel Tower. And this paper kind of, it does go through, you know, these are not separate, separate uh, pieces of paper. This is one sheet and these pictures all go together. Like here you can see the Eiffel Tower starting here and it goes on in this picture so I've stuck it together the you know in the right order so that's the back and then we go to the front so this is the first one which of course says Paris these are chipboard letters which were already white uh, I've put a little word faith on there and this is a die cut bird that actually goes with this die cut. But with this die cut of the bird cage, there's three little birds that go with it, but they didn't fit all in this small little pocket. So there's one bird here, there's another bird there, and then there's another bird there. Now you may wonder what's a pig doing in Paris? I have no idea, but I know Daniela, she loves animals. Um, She's got three dogs and two cats and four tiny little kittens who've just been born. So watch that video. I'll pop a link down below and also look at all her crafty things that she makes. She makes really nice things. So she's mainly paper crafter. So, um, so Daniela, there's a pic for you in Paris, but that's OK. I just loved it and it just the colors just went really well together. Then on the second, how do you call it, little card? There's a doily that I got from Julie Derry and the little Paris, the Eiffel Tower button in there, I got from Jane Davies. I have to remember whom I got what from, from Jane Davies. And the little pearls on here I got from Jean Jones for my challenge. Then on to the next one, I put some bling in between because I just found the gap a bit too large between the pockets and didn't like that. So decided to put some bling in there. Then on this one, there's a heart die cut. Of course, you can't have a Paris themed something without a heart, the city of love, right? And this is, uh, I actually made up a little story with this, but I'll tell you at the end. So this is a little mask because of course you have the theater, which is famous in Paris, a camera, and uh, to take pictures and this uh, piece of bling I got from Beata from Germany from Strand Nix 1 and then here is a piece of chipboard uh, of the Eiffel Tower and I put some bling that I had in my stash on there and I cut out uh, from a, a piece of paper or well, cardboard it's it's heavy paper like a little tag, put on a little glitter 
flower and of course a key the key to Paris now it's not the key that I showed previously which Daniela has seen with the word Paris on it because it was slightly large for in here but I'm sure this key will work on Paris so Daniela you can use it you'll be fine <laughs> then I saw in that in a lot of pocket letters people do put like um, in one of the pockets a word of encouragement and I thought okay what better book is there than uh, the word of God himself who just loves us so much and he wants to encourage us so this is one of my favorite verses I gave it to my daughter as well for her uh, for adult water baptism a few years ago and it's from Zephaniah 317 and it says the Lord your God is with you he is a hero who saves you he happily rejoices over you Daniela he renews you with his love and he celebrates over you with shouts of joy now this is Daniela this is also for you God loves you so so very much he renews you with his love he celebrates with you and even in other uh, Bible translations, it even says here in this verse that he is actually dancing over us. Can you just imagine God himself? He loves you. He loves me. And he shouts over us with joy. He's just really going out of his mind over us. He's shouting. He's, he's dancing over us just because he loves us so much. Daniela, keep that in mind. He loves you. He's shouting over you with joy dancing over you so this is a love themed um little pocket or card so i put the word love on here and this really pleasant heart with a little rose in there which i think is very cute there's some uh some glue on here shouldn't be there then we've got a clock which I thought went quite nicely with the colors and um again that little bird from the die cut a glittery flower sticker from my stash then here we got a butterfly pretty butterfly and the word peace on here and we got on this little heart which I thought was really cute especially for you we got little paws maybe there's there's a cat this looks more like a cat and that like a dog so I thought that very appropriate since you both have cats and dogs <laughs> and then of course the bird cage and this background again is a very pretty doily that I got from Julie Derry and I got the piece of bling oh dear now I have to think um, I think it also came from the same bag with this from Jane Davies yeah and then I put over the holes I put this is actually a Paris uh, sticky bag ribbon so which I thought would go really nicely in this theme let's see if I'm in focus hello focus please focus 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 yeah there you go so but Daniela if you and I stuck on these um, glitters which I got from oh dear one of the J ladies, <laughs> I will call you J's, I can't, and she's from a Julie, from Jane, from Jean, and there's another Jean or Jane somewhere, I thought one of the, um, the um, I think it was from, uh, oh yeah, Jean Jones, Jean Jones, I got that, and it was actually on a trim, and I, I cut that off, and I got another piece here, just to keep the butterflies in there as well but Daniela if you want to put this in a folder and you use the little holes that are obviously behind this ribbon just take it off and use it on something else you know the tape you can you can use it and just because the holes obviously go through on this side I had these tiny uh, die cuts already cut out in a little box which I did a long time ago and I just cover the, the sticky stuff on the back of this sticky back ribbon. So you can easily take that off and put it in a folder if you want to, you know, keep them that way. So let's see. I think I covered all. So my little story to go with is like, it was like, Daniela, you will fly to Paris in faith. 
and you will see from the plane already the Eiffel Tower. That's why it's a little bit small and lots of flowers. You will once you once you have arrived in Paris, of course, you will go to the opera, and you will absolutely love it and take lots of pictures. Then you will see the Eiffel Tower up close and go to the top of it because you have the key to Paris so you can enter Paris. Then, of course, Paris is the city of love. The Lord is with you. You'll take your dear hubby with you as well because he's your big love um, here on Earth. And uh, you don't have to watch the time because you're going to have a great time. You're going to love it all. There's going to be peace in your heart. Maybe you will take your doggies and your cats with you. I'm not sure. Maybe not a good idea. But, you know, and of course, there will be birds in Paris and you'll see lots of flowers now in hope. <laughs> so keep on hoping that you go there. So anyway, that was my little made up story to go with this. Uh, it's like a picture book, isn't it? So there you go. Now, the only problem I think with pocket letters, which I don't like about pocket letters, is that the pockets are so small. I'm supposed to put little goodies in here. And I tried, but I, I, I won't go through them all, I think. I have all these little bags that are made with goodies to pop in the back and some bits that you I know that you liked and some sticky notes and, it, and some die cuts from the, the Eiffel Tower and some die cuts from cats and tortoise. And I know you like these because you mentioned that. I got these in a charity shop recently. And I know you, you mentioned that you like these, so I'll pop two in for you. But they just don't fit in the pockets. I got some ribbon. I got some more die, um, not die cuts, but chipboard, Eiffel Towers, Paris, hot air balloon. And uh, I, I really wanted to give you this as well. I got this from Eva Seferiadu. She makes wonderful things. Unfortunately, she hasn't got a channel running here yet. Doesn't make any videos yet, but she sent me three of these. So I kept one myself. But when I saw these, I just really had to think of you because, Daniela, you really are the doggy kind of person, the animal person. So I hope you like these and can make nice things of these as well. So anyway, I will try to pop in these little pockets what I can and the rest I'll just pop in the envelope separately. And I should not forget to actually write the letter. That would be typical of me to send a pocket letter without a letter in it so have to do that straight away otherwise i'll forget i did promise you to make another banner daniela had a um, had a previous challenge going on i made a, a very nice paris themed banner for her uh, and put some little goodies in the package but the package unfortunately never arrived this was before christmas so i promised to make her a new one now I have already started that, but I didn't want to wait till I have that finished because the deadline for this challenge is coming up. At least I'm from the Netherlands, so it takes some time to uh, the deadline is on uh, February the 11th. So if you live closer by, you can still join in this challenge. Please do and uh, share some love with her. And uh, so, Daniela, you will get the banner as well, but I'll send it in a separate package. Last chance as well of the package getting lost again so okay hope you like it thanks for watching uh, everyone and i'll hopefully be able to pop this in the post to you today okay see ya bye bye big hug